Hottest youngin in the 912, Young Bibby, Rock with Hood and ENT. Hottest bloggers in the SAV, I ain't know how the fuck we rockin', man. I'm gang taking over. Savannah, Georgia, 912 shit. Hottest young. Shout out Hoodlum ENT, man. Hottest bloggers in the city. Y'all know how we coming, man. We taking over this year. That's on game. Alright, uh, so let me know, like, you born in Savannah? Hell yeah, I born in Ray. Yeah, State, State Streets. East Savannah. Yeah. 2.1. Right there on 37th Street off of Skidaway. Really? Uh, Alright, so. Tell me as far as like, what was it like, you know, before the music as far, or has the music always been involved in your life from a toddler? Shit, not, I ain't gonna say toddler, I ain't gonna say toddler. Probably when I was about eight years old, nine years old, probably about 10. VHK, Victory Heights Park, right there, got down by where I stay at. Fly J and all of them stayed around there. Yeah. We really been taught her when she was growing up, pushing her, cause what happened to her daddy and all that. Yeah. Got down me, big homie Moody, Terrell, all us had a little Victory Heights kid shit going yeah. on. But at, we were really bullshit. But I've been going hard three years now, really five. But the first two, I've really been bullshit. Yeah. But last three years, I've really been taking this shit serious, for real. Yeah. So then, what made you even take it serious? Shit, a lot of shit. Like, nigga got down my pops passed when I was 14. That shit just had a nigga thinking a lot. So goddamn, I just been seeing a lot of shit different because that was my other half, really. Like, he got me through a lot when I was growing up. So goddamn, not too long ago, probably like two years ago, my grandma passed. And shit. When my pops passed, really was on some hot shit. I got booked. But after that, when I came home, I was like, fuck that shit. I really ain't about to get into no more trouble. I hopped in a goddamn stool. I recorded, goddamn, really one of my first songs I put on SoundCloud. I recorded with nigga Fat Boy Zerk. We did that. And then shit, after that, Everybody was giving me good feedback. Everybody was telling me, keep going, keep going. My big brother up the road right now, free Kimbo, you know what I'm saying? But shit, everybody was like, keep going. I ain't really ne never got no negative feedback in this shit yet, at all, yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so even when you um, make that first track and you put it out there or whatnot, did you already have the plan, the blueprint set out, how you want to take the approach into the music? Shit, no. I just got down, that was a SoundCloud rapper era. And yeah. when I just heard a SoundCloud, made a SoundCloud, just post that bitch. Yeah. Playing around, cause shit, like I said, we been making shit, mm -hmm. but I ain't never dropped nothing myself. We were really pushing everybody else that had something going on. Yeah. So, ever since I first made that track, it been go since then, I ain't really playing none of them. It was just, mm -hmm. off the top, I freestyled it and all like that. I freestyled it, uh, no right, yeah. I really don't even write now. I jot down some hooks, but shit, I really don't write shit at all. Yeah. So then, your sound in the way too, was that something that already came naturally to you or it took some time for you to actually build that and help? Yeah, see at first, through the SoundCloud shit, I ain't yeah. even gonna front. Through yeah. the SoundCloud shit, that's when got down, that's when, uh, through the SoundCloud shit, that's when got down, a nigga really turned up after that. SoundCloud shit, I don't like none of that shit. Yeah, you know? Like, to myself. I feel like that shit bullshit, but everybody else fuck with it though. Yeah, yeah, all that old shit, the big homies and all that fuck with all that old shit. But I feel like I was growing. I done grew a lot. Like every producer I done record with told a nigga like, man, you done grew a lot. Like I ain't never thought you'd be going as hard as you going. Cause shit, ever ever since, just been on my own with the shit. I ain't had no nigga push a nigga at all. Yeah. You feel me? At all. Like myself. Was that um something intentional that you did, or just people like holding the nuts on you, or just not wanting, like not knowing what to do with you as far as push you or? Yeah, shit, niggas just shit. You know, this always a big thing, real shit. Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't gonna want to see you be bigger than them. You feel me? Right. A lot of a lot of niggas that was in position to push me were so called artists they sell. Yeah. So they ain't they gonna they gonna push they shit more because a lot of niggas who I hooked up with like that when they met me. They started pursuing they shit more. You feel me? They been selling the nigga dreams, feeding yeah. the nigga dreams, but shit. I been learning to stop getting my hopes up and stop depending on the next nigga. Yeah. But shit, you gonna wait okay. every time. So anyway, too, with yourself, um, do you have the, even the goal as far as wanting to sign with somebody after those experiences and like being like with people not want to push you too much, like 
did you already make that decision? All right, I want to be independent. Yeah. Or I want to sign a deal. Or something Shit, like really. NBC the Nation, Money Bag Clientel. I got LLC for it and all that. That's my goddamn little label I got going on yeah. myself. But I, I ain't got no sound artists and none of that shit. I'm the shit really just coming from the ground right now. Yeah. But it always been independent. I ain't never really relied on nobody. Cause like when I when I done linked with a lot of big motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of major motherfuckers yeah. and shit. Motherfuckers already know that. And, and the first rule to the game, niggas I always told me you gotta you gotta work for that shit yourself. Yeah. You feel me? So I ain't never really asked for no handout or none of that shit. You yeah. feel me? Niggas done fuck with me. You feel me? Niggas done fuck with me and made some shit happen, but it ain't it ain't did what a nigga thought it'd do right. because they ain't really did what they said they yeah. were gonna do. They did one thing and then that was it. They ain't kept it going. Yeah. They ain't yo yo. They gotta keep that shit going. You can't just yeah. yo. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Trust. Trust. But yeah. Look. <laughs> Even I saw on the music side too, like what made you even start going hard as far as what made you, like I said, start pushing the music even more, like starting to come with the plan, I'm pushing music, visuals coming with it. Oh, wait, hey, I can tell you that the other jump. Stunner for Vegas shot my shit on his page. Mm -hmm. Probably for about goddamn ten hours. Yeah. That bitch was probably about two years ago when he first signed it, the baby, you feel me? Yeah, we I got, got I got niggas that about, you feel me? Yeah. Shit. Everybody already know what's going on. But it been plenty other motherfuckers. You feel me, Lil TJ put my shit on the story not too long ago. Yeah. Like this recent, like when yeah. I drop hot shit, like boom. Niggas do that every time. Like niggas always been fucking with me. So I've been like, fuck it, I'ma just keep that shit going. Like that really what was pushing me too. Like shit, they fucking with me. The big industry niggas fucking with me. So shit, yeah. I'm doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm doing something right. Real shit. Alright, so even when it comes to doing the music too, like how is the vibe with you in the studio? Like how's the process? Is it like a ritual that you have to actually get ready on the drop the music or prepare in the studio or nah, not really. Ten out of ten I'm alone a lot. I'd rather be in that bitch by myself, you feel me? I record and engineer and mix and master down there all my shit. Yeah. Unless it's, unless you hear rage on the track, that's really my shit and trig. Unless you hear that, Royal Found, and, and them was old songs. Ever since then, I recorded Engineer, Mr. Master, all my own shit. What, what made you want to do that? Shit got down. Before my grandma passed, God bless the dead, got down. She always saw a nigga want to fuck with the music. She always saw I was fucking with it. So she fucked around on, my, on Christmas and got down, got me the got down studio, the, the, the got down interface and laptop everything i need to record right. so shit i just been fucking with it fucking with it first two years i've been bullshitting that's when i was bullshitting them yeah. two years but then when i really went to getting feedback like oh yeah the mix and all that good and all like yo yeah. like whoever who recorded that shit i'm like oh i did yeah. and they like oh shit oh yeah keep that shit going though bro because it ain't a lot of niggas is doing that shit yeah. recording themselves mixing yeah. master all that i don't make beats or nothing and shit but a lot, of, a lot of beats, YouTube beats, and a lot of beats, niggas who send me beats and beats yeah. I buy and all that, but shit. Rage make a lot of beats for me. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, like, what do you feel like in your music that stands out, that attracts people to your music, opposed to everyone else's music? Like, how do you stand out on the track? I'm gonna say this shit. Cause, Cause how I'm thinking it in my head of feeling a lot of motherfuckers, <laughs> boy. I mean, me. but can me you see. lie? I mean, but you do too. Um, I don't know if you going with the campaign as far as the hottest young um, right now too. As yeah. Far, you said it the track. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this is a competition too. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, you already got that mm -hmm. that campaign going. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, yo, yeah, that's yeah. that's really it. Shit, the stats. Mm -hmm. That's one big thing. Like when I dropped Life of a Young, probably like two months ago, Spotify. 100k stream seven days first seven days oh, yeah, 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 yeah. i'm an unsigned okay. artist yeah i ain't got no deal i don't run promotions on none of my shit none of that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's just like out the love and strength of the city and i ain't even got that much motherfucker fuck me in the city i got motherfuckers in new york and atlanta and the bay area california yeah. like that's where I, most of my streams at mm -hmm. i ain't even gonna lie though about 45 percent of them from down here mm -hmm. i got a lot of motherfuckers that fuck with me doing the shit yeah Hey, goddamn, I'm about to call. I'll see you back there.